Sixers. Hello. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to the show. Don't forget, this week, $10 for the Monday Drunk and the Black Hamburger Tea. This week only, $10. Get them while they're still in stock because there's not a lot left and in very limited sizes. And today, a local Chicago food review, The Dearborn, for their burger. 18 bucks, kind of pricey, but we'll see. Seeing it on some lists around is one of the better burgers in the city. Downtown, in the loop. Come along. Let's go. Guys, we got them. The burger from Dearborn, 18 bucks, acquired jump cut. All right, let's go in for it. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Open that up, move this out of the way. Don't need none of that. Okay, here we go, burger time. Open this up. Ooh, the internet says that we have Catalapa Grove beef. Never heard of that type of beef. Wisconsin cheddar. Special sauce, dill pickles, and bib lettuce on a brioche bun. How are the fries? Very good. Damn, those are nice and salty. Mm -hmm. Now that it's out of the package, look at all that melty cheese. This is the ADD, the big camera, showing you what it looks like. Epic cheese meltage. All right, here we go. The Dearborn, cheers. Cheers. Okay. Okay, I'm processing it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Try to think. I didn't get a ton of flavor. I think I keep expecting more because it's $17 and I don't think more is coming. That is the bite I want. It's like juicy and like my teeth go all the way through it. It's nice and melty and gooey, but there's like way less flavor than I feel like there should be. It feels like muted. Bro, they're using frozen beef. We finish each other's sandwiches. Doesn't it feel like, the, like I thought that bite was great. Like I love the juiciness of it, but it's like the they took the flavor and like it's pulled a, it out of the sandwich. They're using frozen beef, dude. I'm looking at these patties. The juiciness is from the cheese meltage and the sauce and stuff. They do yeah. a great job with that. Yeah. But this is a two. This is two formed. This is that looks like a Burger King burger. It patty. looks frozen. Yeah. This is a frozen beef patty. This I'm getting flashbacks of Blue Door Kitchen, where they just use they charge a ton of money, but they use frozen. You need that fresh beef, dude. You're spot on. It absolutely. You you're right. right when they're sauce, like though. they're preformed like that, you can totally tell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this isn't very good. It just doesn't have. You, you need to like load on a condiment. Like it doesn't have the juiciness of the beef isn't allude, like giving any flavor. No, it's just a bland. Damn. Damn. Wow, I did not expect that. Second time we've had rich people try to trick us. Dude, this, these rich people burgers are worse than $5 burgers. Some of them. I'm not I'm not going to broad statement that no, no, say that the, all those rich two people that, burgers. Those two that we're talking about specifically. <laughs> yeah, 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 those two. Every now and again they try to do that, which also just goes to show you how dumb rich people are. I bet you there's rich people who buy this who, they're rich people, they right. don't eat Burger King or McDonald's. Yeah. And they probably think that they're getting great burgers. Absolutely, they tell their grandkids. Of reference. Look, if you ever go to Chicago, you gotta go to the Dearborn. But don't you think it's just a tad pretentious? <laughs> Richard Dove, you're overreacting. Man, the fries are better than the burger. Those are great fries. <laughs> yeah, the fries are fantastic. Now, because I still need to enjoy this meal, and I feel like that is the proper assessment of it, I'm gonna put fries on the burger, and then also, I'm gonna put, this ranch, what is this? I bet you it's ranch, maybe? Yeah, that's ranch, that's ranch. I'm gonna put ranch, and I'm gonna put fries and hot sauce on the burger. I bet the ranch is for the burger, or for the fries, but. Dearborn, I'm gonna help you out, because uh, this burger is lacking. You got, you got extra meat? You got extra cooked patties? Fresh patties? I don't. Oh, you ain't helping them out, though. <laughs> Say, how'd you get it done so fast? Their special sauce is great. I really like their special sauce. Yeah, but you can't put you it can't, on frozen Yeah, it just doesn't pucks. It doesn't do it right. I'm not surprised, I guess, because this has happened to us before. But man, the way that looked, huh? It would look so, so good. All right, hot sauce, fries, and ranch. 
That's the trick with melting cheese. That's the thing, your dad actually taught me this, to cover the burgers. You melt cheese on top of a burger, it automatically looks great. You can't see the meat. Right. You just see melted cheese and your head goes, oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Right, right. It's a good cheat code. They're doing a good job of having great presentation. Flavor though, boo. Nowhere near, nowhere near in the top tier of a burger in the city. For $17, I can't believe you guys Feel good about your like. I don't know how you sleep at night buying these frozen patties and charging people seventeen dollars for a burger. That's insane. And that burger gets gets up to uh, forty dollars. There's add-ons you can add bacon on. Foie which, gras. Yeah, the foie gras. If you want to add foie gras onto there, it's twenty-one dollars, <laughs> making that a uh, thirty-eight dollar burger. <laughs> I guarantee a thirty-eight dollar burger. Like, sure, if foie, the, their foie gras is probably great. I bet they have that for other like items on their menu. And yeah. their special sauce is very. It's good. Right. Their pickles were high quality. Everything's high quality. But you do that. You charge thirty-eight dollars and then give someone frozen patties. It's nuts. That's nuts. It's insane. It's insane. Bunch of bastards. <laughs> the Dearborn. Bunch of bitches. You're a bitch. This is for the type of people that go out and they don't look at the prices on a menu. They just order and then whatever it costs, they sign their name and they, you know what I mean? Like there's people that just are like that. They don't even look at what stuff costs. That's how much money they have in their checking account. Yeah, there's a lot of places like that Not, for sure. Yeah, yeah, and I just, I guess I feel uncomfortable. Our whole week was like that. That's <laughs> yeah. how Prime and Provisions is, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. You know? Putting the so, ranch and the hot sauce on this, it just feels like I'm eating like wet cardboard with the good sauces on it. Yeah, that's exactly how it tasted. That's what I was getting when I was tasting their sauce. So I was like, oh, this is good sauce, but the burger's trash. Well, I care if they got good sauce. Burger should be $5.99. Yeah, for real. One of the most sexy promo images that I've seen for a burger, and you nailed it. It was like my dad talking about the cheese thing. It's because it looked just like, it looked perfectly presented, but that doesn't matter when there's when tongues exist. Cross another one off the uh, list, Corey. It's the, uh, the quest to try every burger in the city. I mean, there's a fast food restaurant that quite literally their entire campaign is that they use fresh beef. You're a uppity place that's gonna charge $18 for a burger. You can't skate by with frozen patties because little Corey Wagner's gonna come over here with his his, his eyeglass. You don't even need it. You just use glass. What are those? A spy glass. Magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. glass. <laughs> and find out. You're a boy. All right, well, before we go ahead and do a shout out here today, don't forget to like the video. We also have our YouTube live this Saturday. 3 p.m. Eastern at noon Pacific, spinning the wheel, hanging out with you guys, a live food review, all that fun stuff. And then also we've been commenting and uh, interacting with you guys in the comments on things that you've been commenting that we've been asking. Wow. All right, here's a comment today. Can you guys see a difference between fresh and frozen beef? Comment below. What are your thoughts on that? Does it matter? Is it more about the cut of meat, whatever, blah, blah, blah? Comment below and we'll talk about that today. Pink Bell Shop, Pink Bell Shop, Pink Bell Shop. One of the best ways to support number six with cheese is by throwing us a donation on PayPal. We got a link below. We got a little button in our YouTube header. A lot of people like to donate to the show. Helps a lot for expensive burgers, for cheap burgers, for gas, for new shirts, for making the whole show tick. So today, do we have any names of people that donated? Looking. Yeah, we got two. Cool. Two names. And PayPal shout out number one goes Mr. Andrew Brun. <laughs> Andrew gave us a $30 donation. Bang. What a legend. Unreal. And PayPal shout out name number two, Steve Carrington. <laughs> Steve did the old 25er which is awesome. Uh, Steve, thank you. Andrew, thank you. The PayPal link is below. Support the show. Shut up and take my money. Okay, time to rate it. Oh boy. Uh, out of five big buck hunters, how many big buck hunters do you give the $18 with fries, the burger from Dearborn with fries, Corey? Uh, trash, man. I can't believe you guys did that to us and bought these cheap, nasty, pre-fabricated burgers, which actually, they're not nasty. That's what I always buy and I eat. But I just am paying such little money. They're like a dollar a patty. Yeah, at the grocery store. So I yeah. I like know how much you're screwing me. That's kind of <laughs> unfortunate. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. So yeah, definitely not worth the price. I don't suggest getting that. It gives me no faith in the Dearborn as a restaurant in its entirety. It now makes me think that I wouldn't suggest eating anything off their menu to people. So yeah, that's the kind of type of publicity you guys are asking for serving that piece of trash. Uh, I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna give that just a one. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go lower. That price is outrageous, and I, I hate that I was duped by the aesthetics. Like, the fact that the photography, they, they paid more money to a photographer to make that look good than the ingredients going into the burger. That really upsets me as a place that I only have to imagine the rent on this building per month is probably $30,000. So I think, you know, you should, if you're gonna serve an $18 burger, you better make sure I'm literally telling everybody I know about it. I'm going 0.5. 
I just feel screwed. I feel like I set up a mirror and I'm watching the guy plow me. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, look at that. I've been impaled. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Uh, Friday's a lot of fun here at the show. Back at Corey's, cracking a beer, having something from the frozen food out, and hey, maybe we'll have some of their beef tomorrow. Uh, and we'll see you then, so thanks so much for rocking with us. See you Saturday for the live show. And then don't forget, $10 Monday drunk shirt. $10 black hamburger shirt. Have a great rest of your Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>